You merely adopted gaming. I was born into it, molded by it. I didn't see a wireless controller until I was already a man. <gasps> Why? What's up, guys? Dick Pin in here. We're playing some more Ark Survival. Uh, me and Chase, best little prick. He think he's just gonna come up on me and spit in my face and not get it back. Well, he's getting it back. He's only level four, but there's actually one of these guys over on the other side. He's level 100. He's been messing with me all day for like the last week on this game. Man. But anyway, hey, guys, are doing? So if you guys have been keeping up, in our last video, we had a nice little foundation with some hide and all that stuff. And when I came back, I was dead. And that foundation that we had was completely gone. That house and all the stuff I had in it, every last thing. So I didn't completely start over. I somehow got completely wiped, which sucked. It made me kind of get off the game for a couple days and not really do anything. And uh, so I met a guy recently. Met a guy probably about three hours ago randomly. Tried to join up with him because I didn't have a tribe anymore. If you guys look in previous videos, you can see what happened there. And well, basically, he introduced me to making boats. And how you can make a boat and you can have, you know, buildings on it. And you can live out in the sea like a pirate. And I said, well, I've been out in the land, you know, before. I've, you know, trained things before. I've rode things before. Let's try being a pirate. Maybe I won't get raided as often. So I made a boat. And I have a building on it, and we're going to work to getting more buildings on that boat. But right now, I'm just trying to get some hide. Hide is very important. But, uh, I want to shave my boat. Like, I guess there's plus and minuses to what you do, you know? You might not get raided near as much. You might have, you know, have more freedom with the boat, which is awesome. And I'm excited to be a, a pirate. But with that, you can't really train anything. You can't have like big pets in a big area and you can't like claim it, you know, you're just kind of like a lone rider. But when you're a lone rider like myself anyway, it's easier that way. Just to, you know, toughen it out. Have your little boat. There he is. You see a little guy right there. Hold on. I don't see him, but he's here. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Right in the middle of the screen. You see the little guy moving? He's level 100. Little douchebag right there. So you can't do anything. That's my boat over there, though. Says, says, says Harley. And that big boy over there, too. Damn. Screw, let's go, let's go, let's go. Screw you, hippie. Hate you. He's level 100. He, like I said, like in time of the game, like in game time. He, me and him's been fighting for like a week. But welcome to my boathouse. Da -da -da. This is uh, what I've resorted to. Because I'm so sick of just building up stuff. And then I wake up and everything's gone. I've been raided. I come back and my house is not even there. And it's happened twice in 24 hours. And the first time it happened, at least my house was there and I could rebuild. But my house wasn't even there anymore. Not even any remnants of it ever existing. <sighs> it's not how I want to go out, man. <laughs> so you know. Got introduced to this boat thing. Let's not have a boat. We're actually in some tribe here. The loonies. With this guy I met that's like Canadian. Which is pretty cool. This is good enough, I think. So this is good. I like being able to sit out right here and look around. It's kind of away from the noobs because you need a lot to build this. But they could still swim up here, but they couldn't do much. Are they going to punch my boat? Here's the inside of it, little shack. It's everything you need. And now I got a preservative bin, which I guess makes the meat last longer. It makes sense, that's what that means. I seriously thought I got more wood than that. I just wanted to have some wood in here. Give it a little bit of everything, but I'm pretty much there. I don't know what else I need. I think I'm gonna save it. I, I want to make like another house on the other side of this boat, like another house on the opposite side. And so that's where I think I might preserve my food. So I'm gonna wait. But yeah, I want to make like another boat over here. 
It'll be like shields, houses, and that'd be good. If you guys are new to this game, hell, I'm new to this game. You can put the sow up, but it's right in your way of when you're driving, so you can't see. It's kind of obvious, too. But yeah, it's a good start for only just a few hours in, you know. You'll see this like a week later probably, but it's a uh, 4th of July today. And all the fireworks are done. Oh, I was about to say, I'm the type of person that would have got stuck on that, obviously. Yeah, but all the fireworks are done. I'm excited because I'm glad 4th of July is over. I hate holidays, to be honest, and I like when they're over. I don't have to worry about it. I'm, just always, I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. It's so weird how how different, you know, stuff becomes in this game. I once had a huge thing, a huge tribe going of a nice huge place that just, you know, had stuff tame that I could fly and have fun with. And now, you know, just a few episodes later, I'm out here of my boathouse trying to survive that way. Because if not, you just get raided after a week or so. God knows that's boring. It's like I rarely use the spear, but I'll, I'm like, I just got the bow recently. I actually hit him too. I like that you can see that, but I just got the bow recently, so I'm trying to use it. I should have been using it all along, but I'm just a spear type of guy. <coughs> I like the bow though, because it's really good in here. It's not, they didn't half-ass it like on seven days to die. It's really good. I know his brother's over there kicking my ass, but I wanted to get that hide. Spit at me. You missed. Now it's time to die, level 16. It's good being a higher level and I can fight these guys and hopefully win here and not get my shit handed to me. I heard you used to actually get more hide instead of the pick forge gives you food, so. We're doing good. I wouldn't mind making my hide ar armor back up. It's basically what I'm out here doing. It's working for hide. Got an extra bow in here. You guys want to shoot some stuff with me? <laughs> we got a little boat. <laughs> let me know what you guys think about... Um, oh, see, this is my other friend's... I was about to say, uh, let me know what you guys think about my boat. But this is the other guy's boat. This is where I first met the guys that taught me into making a boat. And they left their boat here. And it's like he was saying that you can make another boat. You can make another thing on this side. And see how they have a stone one? I gotta start making my buildings out of stone. That's like the next thing I have to learn. To get lots of stone. <laughs> but yeah, they got their own little thing going on here. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Probably gonna join their tribe. We're gonna have like boat wars. Like crazy shit like that as if we're like pirates. So, stick around. It's gonna be quite interesting. I'm gonna cook some meat. Kill some more things. Hopefully get some hide armor again. We had to do that last time. And then uh, hopefully have our boat here and be alive tomorrow. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Dust can fly. Like and subscribe. Let me know if you're really getting into Ark 2. Because we're getting pretty far into this Let's Play. I'm having a ball this game. It is my vacation and I love it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Hey guys, Duck here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys could support the channel by liking and subscribing and even leaving a comment below, it'd really mean a lot to me. And if you guys want to go the extra mile, we have a Patreon page. You can check it out in the link in the description below. And we have different goals that you guys can donate to and it would really help keep this channel afloat. Thank you guys so much for listening. Ducks can fly, so please help us survive. Peace.